Hey guys, good morning everybody. About 6.30 in the morning. We got that garage floor, we're gonna pour it over there. We've already done this barn, we've already done the house. Been here a few times. So, concrete's on the way. You got 11 and a half yards coming. 3,500 pound mix with fiber mesh, water reducer. So all we really gotta do this morning is get the chute grade. Gonna put a two inch slope on that from back to front. Put the form boards up. And then we'll be ready to go. Got two lines there though. The trim is right at height. Okay. Oh, cool. Where was it? Back of my truck. No, I Oh, thanks. Losing my, I, losing my memory and my vision, I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, I'll go, I can go by that. Pretty much a little less here, I think. Hang on. Pretty much six inches right there. Yeah. So that was the idea. And then Well we'll be at we'll be at the six inch mark here. Yeah. And then we'll slightly taper that's that. That's fine. So I don't want those in the dirt anyway. It's gonna be a tiny bit below the trim when that, we're done. Fine. We okay. want it just a little, you know, yep. a little off the ground. So perfect. Alright, so he's got a mark. Got a mark he wants us to go by right there. So that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna set the I'll set the grade stick to that. And then I can mark the whole front at that level with the laser. And then we're gonna then we're gonna pick it up two inches in the back. So, we'll check it like this. Go up a quarter. So I gotta move this down a quarter. Yeah, it's good there. Yeah, so this is our mark. We'll snap a chalk line with that. So in order to raise that, raise an inch in the middle, I gotta drop this an inch. Yeah, yeah, um, yep, I didn't check it, but we're right on with that one. This one might be a tiny bit different, he said, but yeah. So right even with that, and then just do your slope later. Or if you want to do, you could actually keep it down a half inch if you want to put it with the bottom of the slope. All right, 
So these marks two inches higher than the front. Inch higher, inch higher in the middle, so we got two inches slope. We're gonna set a pin here. I gotta move that back down an inch for that. Make sure we're at the same height. I'll get a double header for you. Ooh, that was close. So what we'll do is I'll drive this pin in, and then I'll put the nail through it. Yeah. set that right to grade same grade as the middle marks and then we don't then we don't need the laser while we're pouring Agreed. Morning, stranger. So normally we'd come down the day before and get this ready, but they they didn't have it ready. They were just finishing getting that ready yesterday, so we didn't we didn't make the trip down. And then you know we'd already have grade shot, we'd already have the boards on. Wouldn't have to hurry so much in the morning, but. Sometimes that's just the way it goes with this life. Things get ready the day before. Everybody needs it done. You know, we just adjust, make it happen. All right, chalk on. long to pour this. I bet we got it poured in 20 minutes or so. Blast this thing right out. Today I gotta I gotta hustle right out of here after the pour. And Luke Luke will probably stay here in power trial, and then Darren's gotta go look at some other jobs. So we bought an extra truck. This is a pretty nice truck. It's a year old. It's a one ton. I got a nine foot plow that goes on it. V plow, sander in the back. I got a big long driveway, but it's kind of been a nice truck. Two small loads today, I figured just over what one truck, well, I actually figured right exactly what one truck could carry. So I ordered an extra yard to be safe. We're about 45 minutes from the concrete plant. So we got 11 and a half, before I figured 10 and a half. And not being able to come down here and shoot grades earlier, you know, 
we just don't want to take a chance on running out. Are you back up, big guy? Motivate guys to work. <laughs> wow. I I told him he should. Don't have a problem with work. I know. The ones that do have a problem I told him he should pay you guys by the yard. So. Wow. The ones that don't want to work right now aren't going to work any different. I mean, if they did, they'd be working on more money for all. Well, I guess all you need to worry about is yourself, then, That's right? That's all I'm doing, Mr. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you know Nobody what they say, the Brian? The more money you make, the more money you spend. <laughs> it's good that way that it's at the end of the year because yeah. if I had it my check weekly, I'm sure it would go somewhere. It'd be weekly. Probably into the house when I'm making profit. You know what? In, in 10 years, your addition might be done. I want my new business. Your project, get your house. Yeah. Your your work? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be down in 10 years. A little bit warm. Yeah, that's pretty dry, ain't it? About a four. There you go. That looks better. It's a... It's okay right now. Good. Let her rip. Yeah. Good. Make us proud. Gonna let us do that. Wow, no, we gotta do that. I'm just saying, this is what they put on. Yeah, I know. I hear that from a lot of people. It's just covering their ass over that flash to kill somebody. Yeah, it's okay. Good. 
Hey, you lock it. I got it Yeah. I'm guessing he had six on, so. About oh, five and three quarters. Okay. It's gonna be about out, Brian. He overloaded you. First truck went most of it, didn't it? We'll see if we're higher or low. Second guy's a lot. Hey Dave, just checking on the second guy to make sure he didn't get lost. Okay, and we're down here, down here on the right, dirt driveway on the right. And he can drive in if he wants. Thanks. Bye. You guys see all those deer? You didn't see the deer this morning, did you? Probably about a mile before we turned onto this road, like four or five of them were just running across the road. No. Back with that, there's an old car dealership back there on the left. 
Yeah. Probably pull enough into that door and then pull a little bit into the middle to get down a few feet if we want to completely do the door. You guys want to do that or just wait? You want to fill the door up with I don't know. Turn it and come down as far as you can? Better, better than letting that set up too much, I guess. Went a little further than we thought he would go. Well, that's all right. We ain't we'll gonna, have plenty. We ain't gonna run out today. No. We can make a block, I guess. Yeah. All right. Get this second truck dumped and get out of here. This was uh, quite a bit longer wait between the two trucks than we like. We like to have them right back to back. So I don't know what happened here, but sorry, right. we got an out. Get her done. Get stiff. No bleed water, that's what we like. One getting good, yeah. How's everybody getting along this morning, okay? Yeah. No yeah. drama, no yeah, drama. No, no. That's good. <laughs> That's what we like. Probably gonna need another wheelbarrow right there, please. Yeah. more please we'll try that okay. 
Doesn't take long to get the hot rate out. <laughs> Need a break? into the good stuff now. I miss it a little bit, Mike. Yeah? Not enough. Not enough at all. <laughs> Yeah, half a wheelbarrow maybe. Coming down. I think we got it. Good! It'd be just perfect, I think. Get his big booties out of there. Off right here. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. Smoothing out pretty good. Gonna go over it twice, but loads a little sticky. They still got warm water in it. Put a little accelerator in it, so can't quite get it as smooth as we want on the first pass up and down. So we just go over it twice. This is typically how things work here in Maine when when someone builds a new house. All the all the different trades get subbed out, like he's a sub, we're a sub. The builder is usually the one that controls the subs. They, they, most of them have their favorite subs, they work on every job with them. So the people we're working for today are houses and barns, that's his trailer. Houses and barns by John Libby, so they're building this house and they have, you know, umpteen subs. They, I mean, they'll do a big part of the project, the framing and you know, putting the windows in. I don't know if they're doing the roof, but a lot of times the roof is a separate sub. But there's a lot of different subs on a job like this. Plumbers, heaters, electricians, you know, roofers, concrete guys, just multiple subs. And that's just basically how most of the houses are built around here nowadays. Um, and there's a, there is a lot of really good builders like this guy. So you get a really good builder he has really good subs, then you get a really nice built house. And those are most of the types of the guys that we work for, is just these really high quality type builder big guys. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, we'll leave one guy here to finish. Another guy's gonna go get job ready for tomorrow. Darren probably, and then I'm gonna head back. I'm going on a trip tomorrow, so I'm going on vacation. Well, that's it guys. That's the four 28 by 26 garage, 11 and a half yards. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.